You know, since you bought Christina Amphlet up there, and I am a, a, a Divinals tragic, and I saw you a few times in the 90s, particularly you know, on that long run of dates, um, 95, with Joan Jett and the Blackhearts. I guess, oh, yeah. you know, Divinals question, what did you take away from your time on Rhythm Guitar in the Divinals? I learned how to play with, with the drums a real lot. But also, I, I, Chrissy and I became really great friends, and she was like a, became like a sister to me, actually. And we were friends to the end. And um, that the, the biggest thing I took away from the vinyls was uh, a great friendship with Chrissy. It's, uh, she was a very close friend of mine. But it was a great band. Mark McAtee's an incredible guitar player. And, of course, playing with Charlie Drayton was great fun. And it was, you know, this sense of they had a sort of... Chrissy always had, had this sort of sense of style about the music and, you know, always put in the best sort of thing. It's hard to say, but uh, all the things I do are, are kind of... The vinyl is very close to a lot of the music, not s- s- sounding, but the way they approached it all, you know. Mm, mm. Try to be original, try to be different. Don't tolerate the wits. Yeah, and, and, you know, particularly some of the, the material they were releasing towards the, the, the end of the, you know, mid to, late, mid to late 90s is just, personally, it's some of my favourite stuff. That Underworld album... Yeah. It's phenomenal. Yeah. But, um, yeah. yeah, it's great. 